Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL Q4 which is all about special right triangles. So you're going to see a series of problems here that give you what we call special right triangles. And what I have right here is a Khan Academy page that is kind of like a cheat sheet for the two kinds of special right triangles that you'll see here. The first one being what is called a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That is a right triangle that has a 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and that right angle. And then the second one being the 45, 45, 90 triangle, which as you might assume is 45 here, 45 here, and then your 90 degree angle. And the reason why we call them special right triangles is when we have these specific degree values in there, and we only have one of the sides, you know, maybe just the hypotenuse or something, we can figure out what the other two are just because the ratios are going to be the same always and forever. And so it's going to be different here for the 360-90 and the 45-45-90. For the 30-60-90, uh, if we know what the hypotenuse is, we know that the short leg is always going to be exactly one half of whatever the hypotenuse is. So if the hypotenuse is 14, that means the short leg is going to be 7. And then the long leg is just going to be uh, three square roots of two or over two of whatever the hypotenuse is. So you just multiply three square roots and then uh, over two uh, by the hypotenuse and you're going to have your length there. If you go down to the 45, 45, 90, uh, whatever you have one of the matching sides is uh, K, you're just going to multiply that by the square root of two and that will be your hypotenuse. And that's always going to be the case for 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay, so with that in mind, we'll go back to the first problem here. And it gives us a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and it asks us to find Z, which is the long leg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just snag this snip right here, of that one. Okay, and we're gonna see that the short leg has a seven. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just write seven right here under the short leg. Okay, meaning that if we know this leg right here is seven, which is gonna be half of the hypotenuse, that means the hypotenuse has to be 14, right? The hypotenuse is just gonna be double of what the short leg is. Short leg is just gonna be half of the hypotenuse. So if we know this one is seven, we know this one is 14. And therefore, since we know what H is now, we can figure out what the uh, log leg is. So we're just gonna go square root of three, times two uh, times 14, okay? And you can simplify this to seven square roots of three, okay? And that's going to be uh, what our answer is. If you go to, if you see the IXL right here, it says write your answer in the simplest radical form. We can't simplify this any further than seven square roots of three, so that's what we're going to submit here. We'll do seven square roots of three. And there we go. Okay, we have another uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, and uh, this time they do give us the shorter leg as nine. And now they only want us to find the hypotenuse, right? They don't need us to find the long uh, side there. So if we know the short leg is gonna be nine, and the short leg is just going to be half of whatever the hypotenuse is, and then that means the hypotenuse is going to be 18. And that is going to be our answer, right? That's what they're looking for. They're looking for T right here. So we'll go over here and we'll type in 18. Type in 18. And that'll be it. Okay, so you get the idea there for the 30, 60, 90. Let me skip one or two until we get to, there we go, 45, 45, 90. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll go back here to Khan Academy. And as I say to all of my students, the internet is a wonderful resource. Always use your resources. I uh, say that to my engineering kids too. Internet is a wonderful resource. It has all of this information on here readily available. If you need a formula or something, it's definitely gonna be on there. Okay, make this smaller, cool. Uh, so it says here it wants us to find the hypotenuse and it gives us one of our legs there as three square roots of two. So we have our diagram right here. We know K is gonna be three square roots of two, three square roots of two. And now we wanna figure out what the hypotenuse is. So if K is three square roots of two, we need to multiply that by 
another square root of 2, right? Okay, and so when we multiply these two things together, when you multiply two square roots of the same number, so 2 and 2, the square roots are going to basically cancel out, so you're left with 3 times 2, which is just going to be 6. All right, so we'll go back here, type in 6, and that is going to be our answer. Okay, we have another 30, 60, 90, and I jump all the way up to a smart score of 90, and now they just give you problems without diagrams. So we'll come over here. And it says a 30, 60, 90 triangles longer leg has a length of 19 square roots of 3. What is the length of the hypotenuse? Okay. So I'm going to go back and get a diagram right here. Go back here. All right. So we know the longer leg is 19 square roots of 3, and it wants us to find what the hypotenuse is. Okay, so let's figure out uh, what our hypotenuse is from our 19 square roots of 3. So 19 square roots of 3 needs to be divided out into the square root of 3 over 2 times something else, we'll say z, and that is going to equal our 19 square roots of 3. Okay, so what can we do? Well, let's multiply both sides by 2. So we are left with square root of 3 times z equals 2 times 19 is going to be 38, and then square roots of 3. And then to get the z by itself, we will divide both sides by 3. It's the entire side by square root of 3. So square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 cancels out to 1, and then z equals um, square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1, just as I said. So all we have left is 38. So z is going to equal 38, or uh, what I meant was h, right? z was just our missing variable there. So h is going to equal 38. So we'll go back here, type in 38. That is going to be your answer, okay? So this is where I'm going to stop the video. Take care and stay safe, and I will catch you for the next IXL tutorial video later. Goodbye.